<laughs> Do it, Gil! That's awesome. That was one hell of a fight. <laughs> I didn't expect to kill him and do it. Oh, they were stronger than we thought. We give up. We give up. Not sure it wasn't Guys, a pretty good dirt face. It was his. That's right, you modest. That jester, he came walking on top of the water to us. Just walked over us. He did. Yo, it sounds like he's underwater, but his mouth is actually above water, so I don't understand how that works. Cheeky of a human to pull that little trick off me, thought. So we talked to him, we did. But when he talked, our head got all cloudy like, and we started attacking ships. We did, we did. It wasn't us, it was that jester, it was. Is this by way of an apology like? Oh. We found it in the ocean, we did. Go on, take it, mate. It's the least we can do. Wow. Well, that is all from us. We are leaving now. We are. Have a pleasant trip. So long. That guy has like a gay side, and then he has a shipmate side. That's pretty awesome. Not bad, guys. You're a lot stronger than you look. You know, we've never properly introduced ourselves. I'm Jessica. Jessica Albert. And who might you be? I'm Yangus, and this is the Gov. Yangus and the Gov, is it? Right. Thanks again for your help with the sea monster. Now, let's find Dormagus. Pretty sure my name's Nerdiac, you asshole. I'm sure you need to get ready first, so let's head back to Port Prospect. I'll tell the captain to weigh anchor. Why would we fucking weigh anchor? Aren't we already on our way? Might as well oh, just keep on fucking I going. Forgot. I called you two thieves back at the tower, and I never formally apologized. So. Forgive me. Anyway, that is a terrible I'll apology. She could have done so many other things than fucking just saying forgive me. We're heading back to Port Prospect! Like, she's fucking royalty. She could have given us a bitch ton of money, but whatever. We took care of the sea monster, so I got them to agree to wait for us. I figured you'd like to rest and buy provisions before we set sail again. I already bought all my shit, fuck you. Here. Don't take too long now. We've got work to do. To do. Okay. Fucking, why would I need to go buy shit? Isn't that what Get Ready was? Like, way back before we even fought that thing? Hey, that was quick. Are you, are, are, are you okay to set sail already? Yes. Come on then, let's go get going. We have to hurry and catch up with Dolmegas. Actually, before we go, I have a favor to ask. You're after Dolmegas, just like I am, right? We're fighting for the same reasons. So, I was thinking, why don't we do this together? I haven't been studying magic for long, but I still have a lot to offer. What do you say? I would say no fuck you, but I don't think it would matter anyway. I've got a so. great feeling about this. Thanks, guys. Well, now that that's taken care of, let's go. Just 
Where do you think you're going without me and my beautiful princess? Did you? Nope. Fuck. All hands on deck! Way anchor! Prepare to set sail for Peregrine Key! What? Ah, there you are. So what are you two up to? Up to? Sitting on barrels. Me and the Gav was just talking, that's all. Gav, huh? I've been meaning to ask you about that. You know, he doesn't exactly look like your governor. If anything, it looks the other way around. What's the story? Well, I'm glad you asked. The story I'm about not. me and the Gov fell in together is an epic tale, full of laughter, frills, and tears. It is, is it? Well, why don't you just give me the highlights? All right, I will. It all started on a fine summer's day. The sound of insects was deafening. I just decided to make a clean break of it. I was well act off with the old bandithood. So I decided to leave the town that I lived in my whole life and start a fresh life. I ain't exactly a looker, as you can see. Perhaps that's why people treated me funny everywhere I went. Like I was a thief or something. I didn't have no place to go, and not a penny to me name neither. So I ended up going back to the old game. Fucking X button is so touchy on this controller. And that's when I run into. I'm very sorry about that. Like you literally just I'll have to right touch there. it with your thumb and it goes in. You don't even have to push it down. Who gave you permission? To use Mar Bridgeton, eh? Permission? Permission? Your bridge lies within my kingdom, you oaf. What are you on about? A creepy old codger like you? A king? Don't make me laugh. I see your mouth is as vulgar as your face. Yes! I'm the king! And who exactly do you think you are? Me? Hearing my name is enough to make anyone wet their knickers. That's right! You're talking to none other than Yangus, the legendary bandit himself. Yangus? The one and only. Time to cough up. You have to pay if you want to cross my bridge. The one and only Yangus? What a shame there aren't more of you. Now kindly remove your one and only self from my bridge and clear off. You look so happy when Don't he says push that. Your luck, you green faced freak. I would have let you go if you'd have kept your gob shut and paid up. But you want to do this the hard way, eh? So that just seems stupid to me. Why would you, like, you have an axe and you're going to start chopping a wooden bridge? Come on. <laughs> now, my boy, now's our chance to cross. It was a dick move. Just my blade luck. Oh shit. How the fuck did he grab that? He was holding the other side. What I call just desserts. <laughs> 
As the saying goes, crime doesn't pay. Let us carry on then, my boy. There, there, my precious Medea. Did the bad man scare you? Obviously, he's helping. Why the devil are you helping him? Because he's a human being. Him. It's poetic justice. Nay, divine justice. Thank you, Gabner. I thought I was done for. <sighs> what is the world coming to? Yangus, was it? You can show your gratitude by getting out of our sight. <laughs> You're having a laugh. What? Still here? If you won't do us the favor of leaving, I'll be happy to provide some encouragement. Mister? No, no, Governor. I really owe you. You saved my life and everything. You're the bee's knees, Gav. Gav? What is this nonsense? Are you a complete imbecile? This boy is my retainer. If you're in anyone's service, it's mine. Put a sock in it. I ain't talking to you. He's the one who saved me. Put his ass off the edge. Who do you think you're speaking to, you, you good-for-nothing scoundrel? No, just take the fucking toad and take him, kick him right off the edge. He doesn't deserve to even be in this game since he does shit. So, both storyline pretty much revolves so around him it. anyway. What happened to all the laughter, thrills, and tears? Well, I'm not finished yet. This is the best bit. I haven't told you about how the Gav helped me go straight. Whatever. You can tell me all about it later. Right now, I need some fresh air. I know she's known outside it, already breathing it. Like ours, Gav. Still, no skin off my nose. Yeah, that was random. Is there anything to break? It is breakable? No? Fuck off! I'm not even gonna read that because I don't even care. Fuck you. Do I just talk to her or what? Should I call you Gov? No. Sorry, just joking, that kind of thing isn't really my style. I was just looking at her. I was just looking out across the sea and thinking about Dormagus. I wonder why he went over the southern continent. And I wonder what will what will be happening for us when we get there. It makes me nervous just thinking about it. And that's that's all shit off or good for It's pretty much all that any of the fucking characters ever have to offer in this game. I wonder what's gonna happen next. Hope it's not anything too bad. Really suck if somebody died. Fucking so many barrels at the 